Hello everybody, my name is Henrox and I hope you're all having a great day. We're back here in Middle Earth and uh, we're working on uh, getting peace with the dwarves again because the High Elves decided that they wanted to have a war. Uh, also, we are preparing to defend our uh, little, uh, little impromptu nation here from orcs that are just streaming down from the north, the orcs of Gundabad, that is, and uh, I'm not sure we'll be able to hold Amonzul from these orcs uh, that are coming here, uh, but we will do our best, as is uh, per usual. And we are also waiting for an invasion of Bri, which will be coming shortly from somewhere up here, I think it was. Uh, maybe it's one of these armies, I don't know. Uh, but other than that, we are also worried about the incursion from Isengard uh, from the south, with Tharbad having very small garrison currently. But, you know. And also, the invasion. There we go, that's the invasion army right there. You can see it with the uh, the red eye over it. It doesn't look so bad because it's a tiny invasion army, but maybe there's more. There's a red, big red arrow there pointing at Isengard as well, which makes me a bit worried. The enemy has surrounded us. We're besieged. The orcs are uh, sieging Amonzul there, which is uh, not the best, uh, but they're attacking right off the bat with a lot of goblin infantry. I don't think the uh, they're they're really thinking that the uh, I don't think the um, the AI is currently thinking straight. They don't they they don't really know what forces they can use cuz Amonzul is extremely easy to defend. I'm I'm not even joking. And with the forces I have currently It'll be a hard nut to crack for those thousand goblins. I don't even think they... They don't even stand a, a shadow of a chance to uh, to beat my uh, my defenses. And here is the entry. What we'll do is we'll place our elves in a nice position there. The uh, archers to the side. We might as well put spadakes place the Dunedine Rangers somewhere along here. The uh, Bree Archers might as well be here. We'll have Freeland Militia on the sides here. We'll leave these guys back because we don't want to waste them. We want to retrain them if possible. And the General might as well be here to support any anyone who wants that support. <laughs> And no fire arrows. That's great. We don't need to run. And where are they coming from? The camera is wonderful. As per usual. There they are. We might as well speed up. Let them come. Our archers are already pouring down on them, which is good. Coming closer now. Don't know how many arrows hit, but hopefully uh, some of them. All right, now they're coming. The Snaga skirmishers are coming up, and they're just falling like flies, aren't they? Run in with the Breland militia because they're trying to uh, uh, trying to flank my uh, Eldar volunteers here. That's not great. And I'm thinking these orcs of the Misty Mountains are heavy goblin infantry, but we have these Eldar volunteers, and they won't stand a chance. We'll run in with the rest of our Breland militia and have these guys in reserve 
and uh, what we'll do is we'll just speed it up because we don't need to sit there and watch <laughs> thousands of goblins just run in and die we'll uh, lengthen these guys out so look at that they're just running through you know but they still they're just all of them are just dying we've we've killed around 50 they've killed 20 our elder volunteers are now gone so they're not gonna live much longer very much in our favor victory will be ours but they're routing, so that's good. And if we can get these uh, goblins here to break, we'll have won. Preferably, I, I would have wanted them to uh, just all run away uh, or die, because, you know, having them all die is better than routing, because. They can't come back. The enemy army, the there we enemy go. Are utterly vanquished. Lost 270. This is a great victory. It's okay. Of only the it's okay. The uh, problem is that we've got a lot of more, lots of orcs coming along, and uh, normally I wouldn't be afraid. I would just send Aragorn and Gandalf and just smack them with that army. But the problem is, I need to keep them in Bree to defend them. <sighs> But, you see there on the left of Amonzul, there are lots of troops, lots of works. I don't really know what to do without risking our front lines, and there we go. Siege is coming. And I think they're going to attack right off the bat. They're not going to siege at all. Yeah, see, they're gone. And we're gonna lose now. This is, we, we stand no chance. With those warg riders, and uh, yeah, yeah, no. No chance. But we're gonna take as many of them as we can with them. And we might, we might make it. I'm just saying I don't have any faith uh, in us winning this battle. Not with that attitude, my friend Caesar would say. Well, hopefully we can take a few of them with us. No? Yeah. I know they're gaining the upper hand. We're just gonna plug this hole with as much Breland militia as we can. We're just gonna stuff everyone in here and the Eldars behind and have all the archers just come up here and our knights right behind it's the only way we can do it. We must protect the people. And we'll just wait for it. Why are they on the other side? Is there an entrance here too? There better not be. Alright, just 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 wait. I'll um well this is fun. Just sitting there. You can see they're moving on the map here, but I don't know where they're going. I don't know if we even have battle timer on this one. I don't see a battle timer. Because if we had, that'd be great. Because those guys are going to take like all year to get around. You know what, I'm going to pause and uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you come back when, uh, when the fighting started. And here they come, I think. I think it's the Wog Riders. Yeah, here they are. They're gonna crash into our forces like insane uh, goblins on dogs, on dogs on steroids, more or less. Which is what they are. They're dogs on steroids. Look at that smack. These do th these wog riders aren't gonna break my lines, but they are gonna weaken them. And all these guys that are coming, they're just gonna completely destroy what's left of my infantry. 
Of course, my archers are doing a fine job. Some of them are hitting my own forces, but enough of them. The enemy general lies oh. dead. Kill the enemy general, that's good. And we broke the enemy cavalry. See, having a having a battle timer now would be amazing because we probably could have won just on the battle timer. But hey, what we gonna do? We gonna wait? That's it. And the war riders have reformed, just raining arrows on them. Might want to stop doing that because we wanna we wanna save the arrows for. When the rest of the army comes up, which they are, we're marching here. We're just standing here waiting. But we killed their general, which means we might be able to just win a morale victory. We might break them and they'll run away because, look, we've already killed, I would kill equal amounts. We really need to kill more of them than they kill of us. This is stupid. They're just firing in there. But that's nice. Let's put them on guard mode. Come on. They're all breaking as they come up. That is awesome. It's because of the archers, I assure you. That is stupid. They're just firing into the wall there. If we continue like this, Look we at will this. Smash the enemy. Look at this. We killed their general, and now their morale is like the worst in the universe. And here they come. Here they are. Oh, look at that! A mass rout! Oh, that is beautiful! But we want to keep our troops up here. The camera is insane. The reason why I'm just playing it on fast is because these battles, they can't really go, they, they go one way or the other. There's not much tactics to it. We just need to plug this hole, and that's that. There's nothing else to do it. There's nothing else about it. Look at this. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. The general just keeps hunting them down. We need to... Need to fall back. The enemy army the Look at that! We this routed them! Clear victory. It's beautiful, and we killed almost killed half of them also. That was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I assure you. I loved it. All the way to the victory screen, I loved that battle. Well, I didn't. I lied. I didn't love that battle. It was boring. And I if if I could have just no, you know. I want to ransom because I want the money, but I don't want them to get their units back, so. It's a little. They're just backing up. Oh my god! They're just backing all the way up! Alright. Uh, candidate for adoption. This guy, siege expert. You know what? I need another general. Invasion army nearby. Two turns remaining before invasions attacks. Our, our allies to counter the invasion has arrived on time. Is it down here? My lord. Yeah. Our forces here. Merchant militia mercenary. Yeah. We're gonna have to Raise attack these our guys. Banners! Your enemies lie defeated. Orders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, for I I couldn't take this settlement here. They wanted me to take this settlement here, Burig. But down here is Isengard. Oh no, it's Rohan now. Is it? No. Well, 
Still gaining money, which is good. Orcs of Gundabad. Uh, why do they have... have a taste of my blade. Why do they have this guy I'm here? Stick you. Evil men. Alright, we are gonna just yes. sally forth and whack a mole this guy. Because we, we don't want him we assisting, you know? Your orders, my lord. So that's what we're gonna command. do. Muster your courage, men. We, march. we don't want him assisting the invasion, because the invasion is gonna be hard enough as it is. <sighs> All right. This is gonna be a more intense battle because I want to lose as little as possible. This is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna have to think this one through. And it's gonna be as I usually do when I think things through. Uh, infantry in the front, and uh, that's that. I'll take the Dunedain swords in the center with the um, the Greenway and uh, the uh, merchants on the side, and uh, reland on the right flank. I'll just take the Bree, Bree archers. Right in the back, the Dunedain and Aragorn behind, and you are the only cavalry we have. Yeah, all right, no problem. We'll just do this and start the battle. And where are they? They're up here hiding. All right, no, they're here in the forest somewhere. Forest. All right, a forest battle then. No, they're running back. They want to get to the high ground. Okay, that's fine. We don't care about the high ground. We care about our archers shooting at them until they're dead. So we'll just uh, march up to meet them. Even with top speed going on, there was a little bit of cat and mouse going on. So uh, I, uh, I paused it and... Uh, now we're close to each other, and my archers are almost in range, and Dunedain rangers are in range. And we're just gonna watch as they pour all their arrows on top of them. Because we're not gonna do anything. Look at that, now they're coming. Let them get a little bit closer before we lower the speed. Yeah, they're going for the uh, weak right flank, just as I thought. Snaga Stalkers, light infantry against light infantry. Now that's not going to be very bad, because toe-to-toe -to -toe, humans are generally better than goblins. They might look terrifying, but they're not very terrifying in battle. And here they are, just the Greenway Guards. Not very frightened at all. Greenway Guards are strong defensive units. And the center, they're not going against our um, our Dunedain at all, which is very smart of them, but that leaves us with the ability to break away our middle flank, middle lines, and just go help our flanks instead. Which we will. Look at that, they're just holding on. Greenland militia are doing what they do best, standing still in a large pile. The Dunedain Swordmasters are, uh... are... Look at these, uh, these goblins dying from arrows. Look at these corpses. They're everywhere. That's insane. Uh, where are you, Gandalf? It's hard to see with the trees in the way, but hey. Let's go. Here we are. Let's look at this charge, shall we? Whammo! And they're broken and routing. And I bet this side of the army will soon be broken and routing as well. I don't think there's anyone left here that we're, they're fighting, no? 
let's reform a line here just uh, just for the safety of it <laughs> I think that's their general I think one of them are the, their general I'm not sure no there they are the orc bodyguards let's charge into them I don't know if we get a good charge here. The Snaga Stalkers are gonna get the charge. Yeah. Why are you... Are you preparing for a charge? Yeah, there you are. Look at that. It's not too good of a charge, because we had the Snaga Stalkers in the way. And they're fighting to the death now. But we're losing those guys. They're, these are wavering. And the Snaga Starkers, yeah, sure, they, they might be fighting to the death, but they don't really know how to do any fighting. There we go. Good battle. Not too bad. And now we just have to get back into Bree to defend. And uh, I think we're going to end the episode right there, guys, as I return to Bree and wait for that invasion to happen. Because... Uh, We've been at this episode for a while now, and uh, I don't want you to feel that, oh my god, this guy, is, he never stops talking. Well, I never do. I never do stop talking. Here we go. Uh, I thank you all for watching, and uh, if you like, please uh, leave a like and subscribe and all that jazz. So, uh, see you next time. Bye!